Hi, my name is Larry Newman, and I'm an attorney. I'm located in Ithaca, New York. Today, I'd like to tell you about one of my clients that injured his radial nerve. Now, the radial nerve is the most commonly injured of nerves in the upper limb or the upper portion of the body. And the reason for that is it has a really long distance that it travels. When it comes out the neck, it goes down through the shoulder, down underneath your armpit, what's called the axilla, and it wraps around this long bone in your arm called the humerus, and then it goes down into the forearm and down into the hand. So it has a long travel from the neck all the way down. Two types of injuries commonly affect the radial nerve. Number one is a shoulder dislocation. The second is called a humerus fracture, a humerus break. My client had a shoulder dislocation that caused pressure on his radial nerve. The two most common portions of the nerve that are affected are called the sensory branch of the nerve and the motor branch of the nerve. And the motor branch of the nerve goes to all the muscles that are inside the forearm. And the purpose of those muscles, the main purpose is to extend the hand and the wrist. So somebody with a radial nerve injury will get what's called a drop wrist where their hand starts to fall down and they can't bring their hand up in extension. The other part of the radial nerve is called the sensory branch. And the sensory branch of the nerve, when it's affected, controls the sensation. So we lose sensation or have increased sensation along the areas of the back of the forearm and the back of the hand. Those are the areas that the radial nerve innervates. Radial nerve injuries need to be taken care of immediately. We do not want to have pressure on nerves because long-term pressure on nerves can lead to permanent injuries and permanent damages. If you have any questions about a radial nerve injury from an accident, please feel free to give me a call. This is what I do. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions.